Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this episode of Building Sites with Middleman series we are going to do some image manipulation. In part 7 or previous episode uh, we displayed some front matter. By displaying that front matter we displayed these images right here. As you can see these images are a little too big for us. So what we want to do now is take those images and make them smaller. Not just make them smaller by, I don't know, CSS or something like that, but actually make a smaller version of dot images. To do that, we are going to be using some extensions. So if we go to middleman extension directory we, uh, and write images right here, you can see that we have three choices. We have middleman automatic clown car, which actually we don't need because this is the easiest way to use responsive images in middleman site. Uh, these two we could use. So this is middleman simple thumbnailer and middleman thumbnailer. I used those two extensions a while back and I didn't like them. I can't quite remember why but they didn't work as I expected. So by doing some Google search I stumbled upon this uh, Scary Pines Middleman Dragonfly Thumbnailer. So we're going to be using this right here. So to do that uh, you just do gem Middleman Dragonfly Thumbnailer copy uh, this right here. So of course we're going to copy this and go to our gem file and in our gem file just like we did for the blog we're going to paste this in save it. Uh, then I'm going to go to my terminal and quit the middleman server. Okay, the middleman is shutting down and I'm just going to do bundle install and wait for a bit. So once this is installed we're going to see what else we need to do. So to configure it you just do activate dragonfly thumbnailer. I'm going to copy this right here and go to our config.rb file and I'm just going to put it at the end right here. So we're activating dragonfly thumbnailer. Save it and then run our middleman server again. So middleman server. Okay. So we can go to our site right here, refresh it, see if everything works ok. Now we're going to manipulate some images. And to do that I'm first, uh, I'm going to go to Scary Pines Middleman Dragonfly Thumbnailer and see the usage. So for the usage you see you have just this code. If we copy it, we can paste it right here. So one thing before we go on, I forgot to mention that for this to work you have to have Image Magic installed on your, on your local machine. So you don't have to have it on your server but you have to have it on your local machine so for the Image Magic to do its magic. Um, it's not very hard, you just google it uh, and you probably would get it with XAMPP or MAMP or WAMP or whatever you're using for your local server if you're using PHP or something like that. Okay, so we just copied this right here. We don't want to uh, show image.png, we want to show this article.data.image. So check the previous episode if you don't know what this actually means. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it instead of the, this image.png. After that we have image size. So uh, for right now we're going to uh, make an image which is 100 by 100 and it's cropped. And, uh, and you can add a class to that image. I'm just going to remove this because I don't need the class but you can add it if you want. Okay so I'm going to save this and let's see what we get. So as you can see we get this smaller image right here. So this is cropped image and made to be 100 by 100. So I'm going to delete the original image, save it. Okay, so now we have just this image. 
so you can this is the Im uh, this is the image manipulation I was talking about so we made the original image to be actually hundred by hundred it would take uh, a lot less space on your server and it would load faster of course okay I don't want it to be hundred by hundred and cropped I want it to be let's say 400 and to maintain aspect ratio you have those options so if you go right here to the dragonfly <coughs> uh, dragonfly thumbnail repository you can see the second argument is a geometry string which specifies the dimensions and options such as aspect ratio and cropping have a look at this link for examples of what you can do so I got this link open right here and if and as you can see you have some options right here so you can do it uh, 400 by 300 and force re uh, and do this exclamation sign and it will force resize the image and don't uh, and it wouldn't maintain aspect ratio you can do it 400 by nothing and resize width and maintain aspect ratio you can do it by uh, 300 nothing by 300 300 and you would resize height and maintain aspect ratio and so on so if I go here and do 400 by nothing so I want the image to be 400 pixels wide and just maintain aspect ratio so I don't want it cropped if I save it I would get this so that's cool also you can do resize so max area in pixels is 2000 you can do something like 400 by 300 and to crop it from the north northeast so that would be top right okay uh, one more interesting thing about this this works so fast because if we open our uh, console right here and click on this as you can see we are not actually calling any kind of an image we are calling this data image jpeg base 64 code that is displaying this image so it works much faster of course not all the browser browsers support this and uh, the guy that did this knows that so uh, when we build out our site this isn't going to be this data image JPEG base 64 code it's going to be an actual image so we can test that out by doing we're just going to quit out of our middleman server and do middleman build okay so it's built and if we go to our build folder and images and as you can see we have this 400 by nothing folder right here and we have middleman 1 and middleman 2 jpegs as you can see these images are much smaller than these two so it actually makes the image so when you put this on your server it will call these two images instead of this code right here so as you can see this is pretty cool stuff and uh, I'm sure you're going to find the use for it. In the next episode we are going to be talking about uh, categories, tags, sections and so on. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, please follow me on Twitter if you want, on Facebook, uh, like this video if you like it dislike it if you didn't like it for some reason uh, of course the code for this video will be on github uh, link in the description below also links for this right here and this right here will also be in the description below and I will see you guys in the next one bye